Hello, fish fools. Jeff here. So that's why... That's why these bladder snails are so huge. Because they're not bladder snails. These are actually pond snails. It just recently occurred to me that these are pond snails. I, I was oblivious. I was thinking that they were bladder snails. Because I haven't, to this point, I haven't had, for the first five years since I got back into the aquarium ho hobby, I have not had any pond snails. I have bladder snails, so... I just kind of figured they, whatever the conditions were in this tank, that they were able to grow bigger and they do look similar to bladder snails, like the, the shape of their shells are very similar and, but they are lighter in color and I just kind of figured maybe it was just due to lack of calcium. So I do know like some of my other snails in other tanks, like the ram's horn snails and Malaysian trumpet snails, like their shells are kind of lighter and just more fragile when the populations get so big. Yeah. And I even, the first time, oh, there he goes, a ram's horn snail, one big ram's horn snail in here. Yeah, so this is my 20 gallon long Lime Green Endler and Wild Guppy Hybrid Tank. And this has a booming pond snail colony. And a few shrimp, there is one. And one of the ramps are snail. Yeah, so, what was I saying? I didn't realize that I had pond snails. I, as far as I know, this tank, this is one of two tanks that I have that have any. Like the first one that I ever saw was in my quarantine tank. And I think at the time, and I remember posting a video of that, it was like 10 months ago. I thought maybe it was an al albino bladder snail, just because it was lighter. And then in here, it was like a couple weeks ago, I made a video pointing out the jumbo bladder snails, but now just, yeah, it occurred to me, that's not what these are. So now, yeah, pond snails. Yeah, I think, I think they're only in these two aquariums, at least, that, that I noticed. And just this aquarium having no substrate, just bare bottom, I haven't, I intend to, but I just haven't yet had any substrate to this. This and my quarantine tank are the two tanks that I have that have no substrate, so maybe that's why I notice these more, and perhaps they are in some of my other tanks, but as of now, these are the only ones I've seen. And yeah, so I was looking up details on pond snails, so one thing that is common in the aquarium hobby is bladder snails being referred to as pond snails, as if they're one and the same, but they are not. And bladder snails, I believe, are more common in the aquarium hobby. So how I eventually acquired these, I don't know, must have, you know, like bladder snails must have been hitchhikers or some plants that I had in my quarantine tank. But yeah, so I dig them. But one thing looking information on them and that is making sense like most snails will either like eat like dead fish dead plants or algae but they won't affect healthy live plants but that's one thing that is different with pond snails. So pond snails, I guess, do eat live plants. And that explains why the plants have reduced in here. And there's some, initially, some plant die off in 
So that's what some of the detritus is here on the bottom. But I actually did have a lot more plants in this in here because this was serving as kind of a dumping ground for excess plants from my other tanks. I was just dropping it in here. And looking at the surface, there is does not appear to be any more duckweed. This surface of this tank was covered in duckweed at one point. But I do believe that the pond snails have been eating it as it is gone. Yeah. So, pond snails I now have. Or I have lots of them. So right now, I am digging them, but I'm going to have to try to keep them contained in here because I don't want them in my other tanks if they're going to be eating plants. Yeah, so about this tank, I do still need to add substrate, so I have some white gravel and white sand that I'm going to make a mixture of and I have some white rocks. So that's what's going to go in here and I added a few more of these guppy on their hybrids. The plan was for this to be an upgrade from the three and a half gallon that the majority of this colony is currently in. So I'm going to move those in here and once I get some substrate in here and get that going, I'm going to add some corridors. And I mentioned before, I haven't quite decided on what kind, but it'll be, it'll be the false bandit corridors, the melanie corridors, or the spotted blue corridors. I have three of those in my quarantine tank still. Or maybe another type of corridors. I'm not sure one way or the other. There'll be corridors and guppy on the hybrids in here and perhaps another type of live bearer like platies or maybe sword tails. Yeah. So looking at these pond snails, they're bigger, like their ears, or their antennas kind of look more like wider floppy ears compared to bladder snails that are just their antennas are more thread like and these as you can really see in the one back there they come out of their shell more these pond snails where bladder snails they're almost entirely inside their shell like they're if they were to be on the floor of the aquarium like this they would be the shell would be almost like down to the bottom where just their whatever that part of their body where they kind of like suction and slide on would be touching the bottom and then just their little thread like antennas coming out yeah these guys come out, but yeah. All right, so why don't we just, by comparison's sake, take a look at some bladder snails. So I'm going to go to another tank just to take a look at those. All right, so that is a bladder snail. So they are darker, smaller. They don't come out of their shells as much as bladder snails do. I mean this one is kind of angling on the edge of that plant and you can see the its antenna are more thread-like. But when they are, in this case it's like, you know, at an angle, but when they're against the Against the glass, they're more flat against it compared to like the 
pond snails that come out of their shells. All right. All right, and back to the 20 gallon. So yeah, there's a noticeable difference. So I'd say these are like a lot of these. You'd rarely see bladder snails get that big. Like all of these are like looking at this one right here as big as that gets this might be the biggest that a bladder snail might get but there's a, a bunch of these so they are you know they're still small but considerably bigger by comparison yeah all right well, that's it for now, and remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies and snails. Thanks for watching.